Welcome to another round of my little Get Out of My Series. Today, I have, of course, something special for you, and this time uh, it's a real workhorse. This is a vintage uh, 1961 Fender Stratocaster, and um, it has an ash body. This is somewhat special, and um, uh, a maple neck, of course. It's, it's very thin, but nonetheless, you have to work hard uh, on this guitar. Um, it has a very dark Brazilian rosewood fretboard and um, yeah, pickups, uh, um, tuners, uh, bridge and everything is supposed to be original as far as I can tell or as far as the owner told me. Um, this guitar is uh, refund anyway um, because it is not the original color. Uh, it was more yeah reddish <laughs> before, uh, as you can see here in the details. There are some some uh, yeah leftovers of the original color. Yeah, and and now it looks like this. Uh, it has the original freeway switch and the original uh, circuit, which means um, the tone control is only working for the neck pickup and the middle pickup, and the bridge pickup has no tone control. There's not much more to say uh, about this guitar, except of that it's a real Stratocaster. Uh, you know, there are Stratocasters which are very soft in your hand, and there are Stratocasters which um, yeah need to be worked, and this is uh, one of these. And uh, yeah, for it's a little bit like a bitch, you know, and for a reason, the guitar has the name Betsy from the owner, so say hello to Betsy. And uh, to do the guitar somewhat justice, um, and because, uh, you know, my last video was about this copyright claims on YouTube, um, there's an inflation going on. So I do what I always do. I put this guitar in a musical context. So I'm, I'm, I'm you know, this guitar is not for sale or something like that. I don't want to present to you every single combination of the pickup selection. And, and, and I don't know what, I just play to a playback. It's my own playback, there's no copyright claim possible, and uh, um, that's positive, isn't it? <laughs> so this guitar is very inspirational uh, from my point of view. You know, I, I um, sometimes I need a longer time to come up with a playback because I always use the guitar and play on the guitar and then I think about a playback. And sometimes it takes five hours, sometimes, sometimes uh, it takes three hours. And with this guitar, I had two playbacks finished in less than two hours. So this is a good sign from my point of view. I will use more than one amplifier for this guitar. So I have three here. Uh, the first is a uh, Marshall DSL 2000, uh, 100 watts. And uh, yeah, just listen to that a little bit dry, just the crunch chords, you know. You see, it's an aggressive pickup, the bridge pickup, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, delightful. Um, now it's the middle pickup. Very warm middle pickup, not too shabby. And this is the neck pickup. just makes me happy. <laughs> I hope you feel the same. Like I said, you have to work a little bit on this guitar, you know, it's very physical, uh, but uh, there's a reward. And uh, what I can also say is from the feeling to play on this guitar, uh, it has high dynamics, you know, when you go a little bit back with the volume and play around with the tone knobs, um, very, very dynamic stuff happening. And uh, yeah, before I babble too much, I have prepared two playbacks. I start with a crunch playback for Betsy. It, 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 it cries, it cries, give me crunch. I switch over to a um, using Katner Tube Meister 36 combo 1x12. And um, yeah, have fun.
You simply have to work to get this guitar talking to you. But when it talks, it's it's just fantastic. It's a fantastic Stratocaster. What should I say? 1961 vintage. Um, it's a pleasure to play on this guitar. And of course, it's the right time to say a huge thank you to the guy who was so nice to lend uh, this guitar to me from his collection for today. Now I'm coming to my clean playback. And um, this guitar offers wonderful clean tones, but nonetheless, you have to work for them. Uh, just put the finger on the fret, fretboard, doesn't do the trick here on this guitar. You really have to work. Um, the guitar screams to you, work me out, and if you do that, it starts to talk. And um, it's just a wonderful guitar. And for the clean um, playback, um, I switched to a vintage MPEG VD40, and that's a very good combination for my taste. It's almost hi-fi. You wouldn't believe this is all vintage equipment, except, of course, for the recording equipment here and uh, a nice reverb and delay from the year 2019. But I hope I can bring over the strength of the middle pickup uh, when we talk about the clean sound. It's just very, very good. It's um, exceptional. This guitar is uh, an exceptional Stratocaster. It's not the typical Stratocaster. And uh, yeah, I bubble too much. Have fun.
this was the clean sound in 7.8, in case somebody noticed. I played many Stratocasters, and this Stratocaster has a very, very special character. And it's very rewarding to put all this work into playing. You know, my fingers look a little bit strained. Um, anyway, this is a wonderful instrument, and um, I think uh, German Luthier Matthias Schindler, who did the refin uh, job on this guitar, as well the whole restoration, uh, based here in Frankfurt, my, he did a wonderful job. I really like this smoky blonde color. I wouldn't call it white. It goes well together with this green, greenish uh, pickguard here. And um, a wonderful Fender Stratocaster. So, this being said, I think I'm at the end of my little guitar demo for today. And I wish you lots of musical inspiration this spring and summer. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>